Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Mike here from Axion. And today we're going to be doing the PRL front mount intercooler install on this and how to remove the bumper, uh, why you should buy the PRL one, uh, checking out the size differences versus stock, the end tanks, and we're going to dive into this and give you guys an install video so you know what you're doing. All right, guys, so we got everything off you're going to take all these little pins off here and then there is a two screwdriver phillips head in each and another little black pin now the one thing you need to do is these little tabs right here they fit in to those little holes you basically just have to I use the plastic uh, interior tool and you're just going to wedge it in and uh, use those to take it off. It's pretty easy. Um, but definitely finding all the bits and pieces on here that need to come out takes a little bit of time. So let's take it off. All right, so first thing we're going to get into is we start taking off all the clips on top up here and I actually have removed pretty much the bottom already for doing the uh, front pipe and down pipe um, so all that's already off the car it's just about 25 clips underneath that you have to take off and I'll show you a little bit underneath when we get under there what ones let's start taking off the top one all right guys size does matter so you can see the dress difference between these two uh, designs. Stock, super narrow. PRL are actually gonna have a removable piece from what I understand on this side, uh, which will be able for you to go to a larger diameter uh, for when the um, intercooler piping kits come out. But yeah, you can see, make sure you put the o-ring in here and the other one is installed on the other side or else you'll have a nice boost leak but yeah fantastic quality as always prl um been using these guys on our 9th gen when we had a prl turbo kit probably some of the best uh, fitment quality out there i don't even see the point of going with any other manufacturers to be quite honest <laughs> But yeah, let's get this installed. All right, so we've been waiting to do the um, delete kit on this, but I wanted to do the front mount at the same time since I'm not gonna take off the bumper for two reasons. But this is the hose that goes to this little box. It's basically to quiet down the intake more. And PRL have this nice little kit here. So basically you just plug that part right there and then you also get an intake plug we've already done that on here it's pretty pretty easy to install it took me probably five minutes but um so yeah we're gonna do that also i'll probably actually just leave the box in there and take the hose off and cap it just because it's holding some stuff um you can take it off it's 10 mil bolts so let's get going all right it's all installed guys this uh, lower black piece needs to come out because the intercooler and the crash bar, it just won't fit in. So you have to take that out to get it in. And uh, yeah, can't wait to see how it runs, especially here in Arizona. Summers are pretty brutal. So having this is going to just make it so much more efficient. And uh, definitely when you start running some more boost on these stock turbos they're just blowing a ton of hot air so the intercooler helps a lot so yeah let's get the bumper back on and we'll take it for a test drive all right guys there it is you can see it behind the grill definitely takes up a lot more room and it's very noticeable and uh yeah hopefully you guys like it i think it turned out pretty good we're gonna now go for a quick test drive and uh, 
see if we can feel a little bit of a difference from this. here for a little bit and um, see how everything goes with it. Just trying to obviously I haven't really driven it much yet so trying to see the differences. Um, you're not really gonna know until you kind of get on it a little bit and obviously everything's warmed up. Yeah, install was pretty quick. You know, there's just a lot of screws and uh, fasteners that you have to take off from the bumper. But um, yeah, I would say probably for most of you, I didn't even jack the car up or anything because um, you can pretty much just slide underneath and, and undo everything, which is super easy. But I would probably say, you know, it took me about an hour and a half. I would say for most people it'd probably take about two hours. But yeah, obviously no check engine lights. Um, it's a very simple bolt-on. Uh, I think if anything just make sure you don't forget those gaskets where the charge pipes go on to the intercooler. And yeah, another easy install so next up for the car is going to be e30 blend um, since 91 octane sucks and we'll probably gain another 30 horsepower 20 30 foot pounds of torque um, the only thing is I don't really recommend it with the stock clutch because you're pretty much at that point it's not gonna last long so for all of you guys that haven't had a 10th gen and this is your first 11th gen, the clutch is the first to start going with quite a few mods once the torque gets up there. Um, so definitely have that in mind and uh, there are shortages right now. So if you plan on doing it sometime soon, I would just order it to get it ordered and out of the way. Um, we are gonna be doing E-Man's Type R clutch retrofit on here. Uh, and also the PPG gears and some other stuff just because of what we're going to be doing long term with the car um, but Yeah, I'm gonna give it a little pull here See if I notice anything with the front mount um, Sometimes the k-tuner just takes a little bit to adjust with the the mods a couple start and stops But yeah, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate that. We're trying to grow this as much. Um, and hopefully it'll help you guys out when purchasing from us. So you know how to install the products. with the larger 265 35s um so yeah thanks for tuning in see you guys later